okay today we are going to see about an uh, ros based mobile robot which is in turtle boot which is an open source and a an, uh, research and education purpose product prototype uh, which is published by robotics uh, eman uh, is an open source platform you can take that uh, links and do anything for your own purpose and uh, you can edit and you can uh, replace uh, files and um, navigation file systems and uh, etc using that okay for cloning the turtle boot uh, resource so we need to learn some basic linux commands and uh, after knowing the basic linux command we are going to create an uh, ros workspace after creating a workspace we are going to cloning the uh, turtle boot uh, resource in our uh, workspace as a folder okay the list out of basic linux commands required to create and modify delete and navigate uh, in ubuntu os using the terminal uh, okay we are going to so step by step what are the linux basic commands we are going to use on uh, uh workspace for creating workspace and then uh, ubuntu basic linux commands this all the way okay ls is in list all items in the di current directory cd is a change the directory uh, mkdirs make a new directory touch make a new file nano uh command line uh, inbuilt uh, text editor sudo get admin uh, privilege rm delete the file uh, remove the file rm is delete r and directory and all content within it uh, okay chmod for creating a workspace uh, we need to use an mkdir uh, it will create a directory after creating directory we need to change into the directory which name you give after that uh, we need to create an src folder into the uh, your own name which name you give to that first directory in in that first directory you should create on a new directory that's name is src folder after creating a src folder uh, you need to manipulate it into change into cd cd is cd command is change change to directory to that src folder after that cat can edit to workspace it will be initialize your workspace after creating that uh, you change to your uh, first directory which is your created by otherwise you, you kept like in cat can workspace okay after that you give cat can make it will be make three uh, folders uh, which will namely they will build cmake file and src file after creating that uh, cmake uh, cat can make uh, command put echo source cat can uh, devil workspace it will be manipulated into bash file uh, which is known as a bash file is in bash script uh, which is mainly used in ubuntu okay after uh, manipulated a uh, bash bash into your uh, workspace it will be create a workspace after that after creating the workspace we need to put our uh, resources into src folders only the uh, devil folders have all the essential uh, libraries that all are have devil file still now you saw how to launch an uh, turtle boot uh, gazebo and uh, tell you operation mode and how to install from a uh, git source and uh, workspace how to create a workspace uh, linux basic commands now we are going to see uh, visualizing the sensor data navigation part uh, slam for simultaneous localization mapping and uh, mapping process uh, map server after that finally 2d navigation stack it's a final part of an uh, tortoise spot uh, now we are going to launch an uh, first launch uh, uh, obvious so some error is arising uh, what's the main reason means we need to source it in bash rc folder before uh, launching any launch file or an, uh, any new repository we download from uh, git so first of all you should source after that you should launch the uh, launch files now we are launched the davis this davis is launching uh, first of all you should understand what is davis davis is a visualization software and uh, you, you can visualize all the data which will be given by the uh, later okay we are going to increase the lidar scan uh, output size uh, from 0.01 to 0.5 it will be visualized on very brightly okay uh, and also we are going to see the camera output value raw image value from uh, in hardware we are uh, connecting the raspberry and a pi camera to raspberry by using a peripheral external peripheral after that in raspberry we need to change change to the home, uh, home uh, image to devil uh, uh, uh devil uh, space uh, we, need, we need to change and we need to add some lines after that we can enable the camera but in simulation that's not a problem we, we add only plugins from a visible official website uh by using a ross topic list we can uh, see what are the topics that are in, uh, running on a uh, visible see that uh, tf odometry static and joint space joint state that all the topics are running we can add uh, my topics what are the topics are running on a uh, ross environment we can add in a uh, uh, obviously uh, we can add imu in uh, in this what is what uh, sorry what is why it isn't rigbert labs on it's an uh, total boot it's in robotics in manual sorry how oh, we can add uh, imu data like that or uh, all the things we can add okay uh, after adding a uh, imu data going to make an uh, 
mapping process now g mapping some error is uh, we wrongly launched the file i think we need to first uh, export the home which home we are going to use and which robot we are going to use that uh, in uh, tata is what they are using the two robots again tata is what three and the tata is uh, wall by three okay it's actually that error i think now we are going to launch the map node map node we are going to launch in office uh, it will uh, automatically make the map map is nothing but uh, is a uh, navigation uh, stack we are going to use the map process okay it's an essential part uh, map is an essential uh, for mapping uh, a single way to perform the snap is by uh, teleoperation uh, the robot is ex exploring the environment and uh, observing the objects by using the robot uh, it's true descriptive sensors uh, well uh, creating well uh, creating uh, the map using a slamp algorithm and uh, in the file uh, after creating a slamp algorithm map uh, it will be saved by map server that map server will uh, have it will uh, save two types of file okay it will uh, save two types of file uh, namely dot yaml and a pgm file okay and that uh, which can be present in a occupancy grid map uh, which is in grayscale ranging from uh, 0 to 255 okay but uh, typically to be in a uh, classified into binary values uh, occupied uh, black or on white but uh, dot yaml file have an, uh, uh, some information about a uh, map okay some uh, information uh, about the map which will have an uh, information means uh, the grayscale value from 0 to 255 but in uh, dot yaml file we have uh, one pixel uh, equal to 0 0.05 meters and yaml file okay hmm. now now we are going to use an uh, IQD graph and uh, making the virtual joystick and uh, visualizing the camera image by using the IQD graph by seeing the camera we can operate easily the robot in a virtual environment and also in a real world and we are going to operate on a robot using a virtual joystick using virtual joystick we are moving the robot in uh, around the environment now the mapping process is going on uh, it's going on uh, you see that uh, rqd graph uh, showing uh, rqd graph also visualization software okay it's an uh, it's true what are the topics run it will uh, manipulate it in uh, rqdf after uh, now mapping for process is finished okay you see now the mapping process is finished now we are going to save the map using a map server okay cross run map server dot my map it will be saved in our uh, workspace it will be saved in my our workspace so you see uh, now i will show Oh, it's saved. Okay. Okay. Since we finished the uh, mapping process uh, and uh, saved in map server, that map server we save the two types of files: uh, .yaml and uh, .pgm file format. After finishing the map process, we are uh, get into that uh, navigation part. Uh, the 2D navigation stack that uh, takes information from the water tree, the sensor streams using the sensor streams and uh, the uh, sensor streams and a goal pose and the output safe velocity commands will be controlled the base of the robot. Using the water data and uh, face velocity uh, safe velocity commands, the robot robot base will be controlled by water uh, and the safe velocity commands. Okay, and uh, main on uh, algorithm is using a uh, navigation track AMLC is a probability localization system for the robot uh, moving in a 2D environment the AMLC is an uh, uh, algorithm uh, probability localization system for the robot moving in a 2D environment uh, 2D mobile robot does not have any degrees of freedom okay uh, in vertical uh, direction uh, even for other uh, unmanned aerial vehicles okay in uh, unmanned aerial vehicles uh, uh, need of five main things for navigation stack map robot localization okay map robot localization sensing the environment uh, motion planning motion uh, control the five things for uh, robot navigation part uh, initial post estimation is a uh, part of uh, navigation and uh, must be performed before running the navigation part as this process initializes AM, amc parameters that are critically in uh, navigation the turtle could uh, was to currently located on the map with the LDS sensor data that uh, netly overlap the displayed map. 
now we are going to take the mapping process now we are going to run the uh, decibo environment after running uh, it's an uh, obvious you see that a uh, map will save in pgm format and dot yaml format we are going to run the obvious so for navigation track the ma using that uh, saved map we are going to run the map after running the map we are going to estimate the 2d estimate okay we, we have saw this much uh, in simulation uh, uh, in coming tutorial i'm going to create my own robot which will be created uh, by in uh, fusion 360 after the uh, after uh, ready in Fusion 360, I'm going to convert it into URDF format after adding the plugins for Recibo simulation. After Recibo simulation, I'm going to do the mapping process using hecta mapping. After doing hecta mapping, I'm going to enter into the navigation stack. After going to navigation stack, uh, uh, finishing the navig navigation stack, I'm going to web interface. After finishing the web interface, so uh, last process is uh, set the goalposts. Uh, for a uh, hospital or a uh, hotel, uh, we need to we have a vendor robot. Okay, so it will be give the task by the uh, hotel managers or uh, staffs to send the uh, foods or uh, drug materials to that uh, which room or uh, uh, which room we need to set uh, it will be manipulated by that uh, cold post estimation project that's an uh, last process that will be uh, okay coming to the you can see please subscribe my channel <laughs>
you know your copy and paste that uh, see that uh, some uh, packages are unlocated or error what the main reason means uh, first of all once you go to download any new or uh, download or install any new packages you should do sudo apt upgrade so all essential packages first installed and servers are installed after that uh, you need to install other which resources you need uh, we need to copy and paste that uh, command okay to the last three lines you should copy and paste it in your terminal after uh, upgrading uh, that error will be gone i think yeah so that error will be gone since all successfully finally make the catkin works please Uh, now after uh, finishing an uh, installation uh, we are going to launch an uh, disable environment uh, and tell you operation uh, that link also that commands also they give a launch file commands so you go on the copy paste otherwise uh, using the linux basic commands uh, you go through what are the files what are the workspace what are the uh, launch files uh, how they create the launch files uh, go and do that uh, reverse engineering process using that okay you can learn something from that one so um, now we are launching the tele operation mode okay after launching or uh, pressing the keyboard buttons the robot will be moved forward backward and uh, according to that uh, program uh, u is for turning or uh, i is for forward motion m is for backward motion uh, o and uh, j l uh, is for left and right uh, move 